Let's see, which armor should I wear tonight? Oh, oh, red snapper! Mmm, very tasty. So, do you really need 42 different armors? You know how much it'll cost you? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! Jarvis, you're so stupid! Hey kids, here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 35 Red Snapper 1 6 scale Power Post Collectible Movie Figure. Here we got the packaging, has a cool picture of the Red Snapper on the front right there. It says Red Snapper Mark 35 Iron Man 1 6 scale Collectible Figure PPS002. It says Hot Toys Power Post. One side of the box you can see uh, continues that same packaging the sign says Red Snapper Mark 35. While the other side not only continues that packaging, design but also has part of the figure back here it's that same design with a big red stripe that talks about the red snapper and says warning you want to choke on your red snapper it might snap your tongue off in the bottom box say Marvel Iron Man 3 and when you take off the box you can see a window display box showing the red snapper as well it says red snapper on the front right there sides continue that same beehive design and on the back has this cool like globe thing going on and also has the Hot Toys Presents Power Post series. Let's snap into this big red figure. Even though we only saw this armor for like less than a minute in the movie, the figure is really cool. This is supposed to be based on like the rescue armor that Pepper Potts uses in uh, the Iron Man comics. I do like the helmet design. It's really cool. It's really bulky. This is like definitely taller than the average Iron Man armor, which I'll show here. On the back here is where you'll have the light up uh, switch for the chest. But yeah, the design on here, the arms are super like bulky. It's like crazy bulky. I love the design of the arc reactor. It, really cool, like that detail right there. Love the plastic, cherry red. And, like, and you can even see like the hands right there, which is very cool. These hands won't line up, but the, the claws will, which these claws are huge and they're articulated. Even though this is a power post figure, unlike the Mark uh, 42 one, this is, has way more articulation. In fact, almost as much as a movie masterpiece figure, just slightly less. It's almost could be a movie masterpiece figure, but yeah, yeah, the light up features. I love the intricate details, like all these little pistons right here. These ones don't work. There is no articulation in the upper um, in any of the torso area, so that's the articulation you are losing, but. The detail is still there and it's absolutely amazing. I think if this was a regular masterpiece figure, the movie masterpiece figure, this would probably be a lot more. So I understand why Ch Hot Toys chose to do this. But you are getting some intricate details and cool light up features. Like, I love the details in his ankles, his feet, big old feet. I mean, wow. Just this thing has some amazing detail on here. I love detail on the knees. Absolutely beautiful. For articulation, this guy has way more than you think from a power post figure. Unlike the Mark 42, his head can go up and down. It can actually probably just about fully rotate. Yeah, it can pretty much fully rotate. It has two joints like on the neck and separate joint on the head. It can look up and down really good too, which I really like. The arms can actually fully rotate. You kind of have to move them around. The shoulder pads you have to be careful of, which they do have some two movable joints right here. They're almost on the ball joints. And they do rotate at the bicep right here. They do bend at the elbow, but not that much. It's not even 90 degree. The, um, the hands right here, they do rotate uh, and like kind of pivot forward back, but not really. The well, claws are really cool. They open at two points right here, one, two, so you can close them out. And yeah, the, you have the working pistons right here, which are very cool. I like that a lot. No up, uh, torso articulation, but the legs do go forward and back. They do go in and out, rotate the other part of the leg. This um, a thigh piece does go up and down, which is pretty cool. I like that. And his knees do bend, not a full 90 degree bend, but the ankles, wow. Not only do you have these parts that move up for the armor right here, the ankles fully rotate, they pivot forward back, and he has ankle pivot side to side. Now the red snapper does have four light up features, unlike the Power Post Mark 42. There are uh, four different uh, switches for them. So the way you get access to the first one, you have to remove the head, which be careful. So you remove the head right here and you have a light up 
a switch right there to light up the eyes. Eyes are nice and bright, look very cool. The back here, you actually remove this piece, which is really tough to get at first. So, yeah, I would recommend opening it from this part. And you have a switch to turn on here. And mine is not really that bright. In fact, I think I might need to change the batteries because it starts up bright at first and it got really dim. So that's just on mine. I'm pretty sure if I change the batteries, it'll be okay. You can see on the inside of each of the hand parts, you just flip the switch on here. You got like the repulsor claw hands looking really cool. By the way, when you post them, he does balance pretty good. You just have to be careful because of his big old arms. And you don't really get that much accessories with this figure. You just get a really detailed instruction manual on how to pose them and how to do the light up features and interchangeable heads. Get this display stand says Stark Industries Red Snapper. It really reminds me of that uh, Mark 42 uh, stand. You know, same detail. There's no uh, light up feature in it. It does come with this cradle that you actually have to put, and he has a hole like in between, um, like right there. There you have your Red Snapper in this kind of hovering pose. Pretty cool. I mean, I do wish it was like a normal cradle or even like the one that comes with the War Machine Iron Patriot just so that you can do some more dynamic poses and just protect it if you want to keep it standing. Now it doesn't come with one, but if you do have extra Hot Toys Tony Stark heads like I do, it does have the ability to work with any of those heads. So, so you can just remove this head. I actually got the Mark 7 one. You can place on here and you can have it look like, you know, Tony Stark removed his helmet, even though we didn't see that movie, you have that option. You can actually remove the arms from the figure and put it on some of your other Iron Man figures. Now it doesn't work with the Mark uh, 7, sadly, but it does work with say like the Mark 4, 5, and 6. You would just simply remove these arms here. You'd be very careful when doing this. You just have to kind of pop out joints. You can put your Red Snapper arms on your Mark 6 and it looks pretty badass. It's really cool that you can do that. It's not the easiest thing to do, and I would recommend being very careful, but if you want to do it, you have the ability to. Forget Red Bull, I drink Red Snapper. It gives me arms. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Red Snapper armor is pretty tall. He's taller by probably two inches. You can see how much bigger he is than the Mark VI and the Tony Stark from Iron Man 3, as well as the first power post figure the mark 42 even though the red snapper is in the power pose series this has a lot of posing which you have the power for huh no but seriously you have a lot of more articulation than you got from the mark 42 like i said this is pretty much a movie masterpiece figure just with not as much articulation i really love the size and light up features and the posability especially on his uh, big old claws it's so freaking awesome such an impressive figure more so than i thought it would be and definitely a great addition for your iron man collection retails for 254.99 you can buy at sideshowcollectibles.com link is in the description so it is pretty much the price of a normal movie masterpiece uh, figure but for the size and the bulk of it i can totally justify the price and this is for the hardcore iron man fans and highly recommend it for more, check out MarvelousNews.com and uh, my website SeanXLong.com. Make sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link is in the description. I'm Sean Long, remember live long and love life. Red Snapper to the rescue, 911. Remember that show? It's pretty cool. William Shatner, you know. I'm the rescue you from the pond. Thanks, you Iron Man. I'm a salty. Give me the camera. Leo, look. He's doing his Batman voice. What? You think you can take my voice? Or do you think you are Ben Affleck? If you're gonna at least talk like me, you should be wearing more black. The 